Last time I interviewed you uh, was years ago, and it was right before you guys sold to right. Facebook. This was huge for the startup community. What was it like signing the papers that day? Obviously a huge decision. Um, the thing we were reflecting on at the time was we wanted Instagram to live on and continue to succeed and grow and grow, and that was our baby. And so when we did the deal with Facebook, we were excited because we would really get to see that and had, see it continue to grow and prosper. We recently saw this Australian model come out um, and say she's getting off Instagram because she said social media life isn't real and I was trying to be this person I wasn't on Instagram. What's your message for some of those people? I think all, all social media is editing, right? When you're putting yourself out there, whether you're writing or whether you're posting photos, you're choosing what you choose, what you post. So there's always that aspect of that. And you know, there are examples of folks that you know do take it very seriously and try to present an angle, but also others that use something like Instagram to show up real struggles that they're going through, maybe an eating disorder, and you know, get support and communicate through Instagram. I think those things counterbalance each other. When did you first realize that this was gonna be something big? About a week in, when things were taking off, we had about 100,000 people sign up. It took me another three or four months before I really started seeing that it wasn't that people just were coming through the door, they were staying around. And that, for me, a startup, when you're building a startup is the truest sign of success. Not just being able to get people in, but getting them to retain. Five years later, you had this massively successful company. When you look back, what do you, what do you want to remember? I think just the fact that, like, Success is never guaranteed, and you know, in those early years, there was a lot of articles about us at the time, like, oh, this will be gone in a month. And I was like, oh, maybe it will be gone in a month. So I think never taking for granted that, you know, that we put a lot of work into this and also had a lot of luck um, and came out really well on the other side. One of the more interesting things to think about you is that you might not even have been able to start Instagram. You uh, are from Brazil. You were having trouble getting uh, an H-1B. Um, what would have happened? I thought about it a lot. You know, I would either have to have stayed at the startup I was working at before and not gotten to do the Instagram thing that was something I was really excited about, or have to go home to Brazil. And it's, you know, things are finally getting a little bit more entrepreneurial there, but it would have been a very different climate. When you look at the future of Instagram, if there was one feature that you could add, that you could say, I really want us to have this, what would it be? One of the things that I was prototyping was the ability to just teleport anywhere in the world. So to say like, what's going on right now in Paris? And like, what are people posting about there? I like this idea of teleportation. Right? Would you guys work with the Oculus team? Yeah, I mean, that would be amazing as well, yeah. We have, um, you know, 80 million photos uploaded every day from all around the world and be able to say, oh, like, what is it like actually to stand on the street corner and get a sense of the, of the world from there, from sights and sounds? With a filter, too. Maybe with a filter. <laughs>